Hey guys, the Atari 2600 fan is here again, and today I'm doing a uh, pickups video. I'm going to try and do the non-related gaming things first, because I did get some very, very, very nice gaming stuff. Mainly just a lot of duplicates. Well, I did get a lot of duplicates. I'm not going to show those off. But I'm going to show off, like, the stuff that I got that I actually did not have. But anyway, the non-related gaming item is a model of the Titanic. This came out for the ship's 100 year anniversary. Um, I know it's upside down, but the model disc come from a vault, and it came with a bunch of extras. It came with um, replicas of um, Olymp of the Olympics uh, menus and postcards and a 25-page booklet of what it looks like inside the Olympic and the Titanic. So some pretty cool stuff. And when it's finished, it should look something like that. You can see that. Anyway, and the model is basically from this from what it looks like it looks like it's going to be the size of this box right here so pretty big it's like 26 inches not the biggest model but i know that there's a lot more bigger ones but this is a pretty big one in my opinion but anyway now let's move on to the game things anyway for the nintendo i got monopoly i'm not sure if i have this game my game list that's a book that i take around wherever i go to take whenever i go video game hunting i always have a big list a big um, book in my game list so I don't pick up any duplicates but I got Monopoly for the Nintendo and my game list didn't said it wasn't listed in my game list so I guess I didn't don't have it but I kind of but it kind of looks familiar but I kind of but this end label right here kind of looks familiar I mean like I just feel like I just looked up right here and I've seen that cartridge before and I'm still not sure if I have the game or not but anyway, if I don't have it, I have a copy of Monopoly now, and if I don't, and if I do have it, um, I have a duplicate now. For the Sega Master System, I got Afterburner, and I also got a complete inbox copy of Zaxxon 3D. Anyway, for the PlayStation 1, I got NASCAR Racing and Namco Museum Volume 5. Anyway, for the Atari 2600, I got Trick Shot. I also got um, a mystery game, which I'm going to be testing at the end of the video. Um, another mystery game I'm going to test at the end of the video. Mass Grand Prix. Mass Grand Prix. Of the game. So for an Atari 5200 game, I got Popeye and Gorf. So anyway, that's all the Atari 2600 stuff, but I actually do have one more thing for the Atari, actually. I actually got this at this very, very nice video game store that just opened. It's called Retro Games Plus, and basically it has a bunch of, um old video game stuff. It has like a bunch of Atari stuff, a bunch of Nintendo stuff. They had a complete inbox Nintendo. And they have some pretty damn rare stuff too. I mean like they have a lot of rare stuff actually. Like they actually had a inbox Atari video pinball game system. And I thought that those are pretty rare. He wanted fifty bucks for it. I didn't have the money for it. He also had a um Atari eight hundred computer. He wanted sixty bucks for that. He had the Atari 5200 for a hundred dollars with the trackball. He said he'd sell the trackball to me um, without any without the system for forty dollars, but I didn't take it. But anyway, enough rambling on what he had. Now let's just talk about what I found. Anyway, for the Atari 2600, I actually got this Game Center thing. Now I already had this system right here. I didn't buy the I didn't buy an Atari there, and these are just a bunch of duplicates. But I do still have a bunch of duplicates over here in this box. But it's an Atari Video Game Center. I got it for $7.95. And I thought it was a pretty cool thing. I mean, like, obviously I'm just really going to use it for display purposes. I really didn't buy it to, like, to keep my systems I normally use, like my 6-switch Woody or my 4-switch Woody. I'm just going to put my Vader model in here. And put it probably on top of the arcade machine. Anyway, um, for the Intellivision. Now I got some Intellivision games. I got Pitfall with the manual, but the manual for this is actually for the Atari 2600 version of the game. 
but I didn't have an Atari 2600 instruction manual for Pitfall, and now I do. Anyway, Pitfall for the Intellivision. And now we got two boxed games. Um, the two box games I got were Astro Smash and Lock and Chase. I think I have Lock and Chase on the Atari 2600. I have Astro, and I have Astro Blast on the Atari 2600. And I like both of those games, so I had to pick these up. And for $4.95, I got a pretty good deal, if you ask me, for the um, two games. Anyway, um, now let's move on to the kind of big thing. Anyway, this is now going to most, most likely be the rarest game console I own. And it is a Nintendo Virtual Boy. Yes, I finally got a Nintendo Virtual Boy. Um, the system works. I got three games for it. And where are those games? Anyway, they're right here. I got Vectra. I got Vir Virtual Force. Virtual Force and Mario Clash. I got another one. Where is it? Oh, here it is. I also got Wario Land. So, I got three Virtual Boy games with it, and I got more coming into the mail, so look forward for an unboxing video. Now, anyway, let's test out the um, um, Atari system. Oh, there's still one more thing. Um, I actually got some 3D glasses. Yep, just some 3D glasses that were made by Sega. And I also got a silver PS2 controller, because my other controller got all tangled. So I got forgot to show a couple things. So anyway, let's just see what these two mystery games were, shall we? Alright, let's find out what games this is. What game this is, as I should say. Or what games these are, because there's two of them. But anyway, I forgot to show this, and I got another television game. I got Night Stalker. Alright, but anyway, let's figure out what game this is. Alright, first we're going to do the Parker Brothers game. This game was I got for a dollar, so... It's probably going to be Frogger... Or Popeye or Cubert, but we don't know what it's gonna be until we turn it in. Anyway, so let's blow in the cartridge. <laughs> Go into the system, and I'll just and I'm just using my Vader because that's what I have hooked up right now, or out right now, as I should say. Anyway, let's find out what this is. Frogger. All right, so I got a duplicate of Frogger right here, and what's this game right here? Another game I got for 95 cents. And what is this? Huh, black screen, alright. And it looks like it's a football game. I'm pretty sure I have the game, or do I? And yeah, I have the game, so anyway. They're both games that I already have. Alright, but anyway, thanks for watching my video. Um, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, comment, or just do whatever all those other people beg for on YouTube. Anyway, that's it. Bye. Have a nice day. Hey guys, the Atari 2600 fan is here again, and today I got a package in the mail. I haven't done an unboxing video in a while, so I decided since this came today, I might as well um, do an unboxing video of it. Anyway, I'm not too sure what's in here. I pretty much, I pretty much know what it is, but um, but I could be wrong. But anyway, let's find out what this is. All right, and this package contains a Nintendo Virtual Boy game, and the game is Mario's Tennis. Can you see it? Yep. Got Mario Tennis, and it also came with a little um Virtual Boy game protector, kind of like the Nintendo cases. Guess they made these for the Virtual Boy too. Cool. So anyway, this was my package video. Hope you enjoyed it and have a nice day. Bye. Hey guys, the Atari 2600 friend is here again and I got three packages in the mail today. So I do have a mega pickups video. Well, mega package video. But I do did get a pickup. A pretty yeah, minor size pickup. It's not huge, but it's not very small. And what that is, is a... It's an Atari 2600 4 Switch model. And it comes with a bunch of games plus the... Plus the game organizer, a Sega Master System controller, paddles, driving controllers, and a joystick. And it came with all these games. I most I have only, I have all of them except for one and I'll show you that one in a second. But the games that it came with are Space Attack, Baseball, Astro Blast, Football, Yard Revenge, Tunnel Runner, that's the game I did not have. Sword Quest, Fire World, Bowling, Pac-Man, Another copies of Yars Revenge, 
Super Breakout, Defender, Combat, Berserk, another copy of Pac-Man, Frogger, Indy 500, Golf, and behind there, the copy of Donkey Kong. Then he came with all the controllers and stuff, and obviously the system is right here. Nope, you can't drink that. Alright, sorry, I was talking to my cat. But anyway, the system does work. As you can see, it does work. The picture is very grainy. I'm gonna see if I have. I'm gonna be able. To, I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna see if there is a way to fix that. And so far, it looks like it, it's not. It so far just looks like it's a connection problem, because on this on the wire for it, it's actually kind of broken. It's broken as you can see. But the system does work, so I could replace the wire. And yes, that is possible. A lot of people say it's not possible, but it's possible to change an Atari wire. And just so you know, this is not the same game organizer that I have up there, that I have my Vader in with a bunch of duplicates. Alright, anyway, moving on. Let's get on with the um, packages. Alright. Here's the first package right here. And it sounds like there's a, quite a few stuff in here. So let's find out what it is. And I do not have my knife with me this time, so it's going to take a while for me to open it. And I probably should get my knife away. Okay, there we go. Alright, there we go. Alright. Open that a little. Alright. Alright, and in here we have... An Atari 5200 game, and that game is Galaxian. So I have another Atari 5200 game to add to my collection. And here we got a pretty big package. So why don't we save this one for the um, last thing, like the last pickup? Because it's probably going to be like the really good thing. But here we got a another package, and this package just looks like it's in pretty cheap packaging, so it shouldn't be that hard to open up. With a knife. Oh, there we go. And inside here, there is a another Atari 5200 game, and the game is Gorf. So I got another Atari 5200 game, Gorf. I got on the Atari 2600 too. And for the last pickup, since this is all 5200 stuff, I'm pretty I pretty much know what this is. So it's probably going to be the best thing out of all this stuff here. So let me open this thing up. And it's in a box. Inside a box. What do you know? It came in a box, in a box, just like my Mario, my Mario Paint game that I got last year, around the same time actually. But um, I think that when I got the 50 um, Mario Paint game, it was actually it actually might have been um, in February, February of last year. But that doesn't really matter. And here it is, probably the rarest thing in this whole collection. And it looks like it is another Atari 5200 game. And this is, is it? Yes, it is. It is a boxed copy of Astro Smash for the Atari 5200. I do not know if it comes with the manual. Oh, yep, it comes with the manual, the cartridge. So right here I have a complete inbox copy of Astro, Ch Astro Chase. Oh, it's Astro Chase. I think I was, I was pronouncing it Astro Chase or something like that. But, anyway, it's complete in box. It's in great condition. So, pretty much, I got a lot more Atari 5200 games, plus another Atari 2600 to add my, to my collection. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it might have seemed a little boring because I took a long time for me to open up the boxes and everything. But, if you didn't enjoy it, that's fine. If you did, that's fine too. Leave a comment down below. And do it, all the other stuff people beg for. Anyway, have a nice day. Bye. And what I mean by with those stuff. Um.
I know I'm stuttering a lot this today because I my throat hurts and I shouldn't really be making a video. But what I'm trying to say by what those other people beg for, it means like you know how everybody always begs to subscribe, rate, comment, blah blah blah. What this means is like just do it's basically saying all that without actually saying it because I mean like it just wastes your time saying it, so you'd rather just say something like do something to just say what all the other people beg for. So that's what I'm gonna start doing now. Anyway, have a nice day. Hopefully I didn't confuse you. Bye. Hey guys, the Toy Twenty Six Hundred Fan is here again with another package. And I pretty much know what's inside this one. And as you can see it is pretty big. So let's see what's in here in here, shall we? Alright, this one doesn't look like it's gonna be too hard to open because as you can see there's like a little tear in it right there. And let's see what's inside here. Right, okay. So there is a little vintage gaming flyer in here for the guy like I guess the guy ha on eBay has like a little flyer that he sends out to everybody whenever he buys something, whenever he um, whenever he has something in stock and he looks like he has a um, little flyer that shows what he has, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's see what's inside here. Uh, anyway, if you hear lots of noise in the background, um, we're cutting some trees down and there's a, and there are obviously a lot of machines going out, uh, off outside. But, uh, uh, anyway, I you know I'm stuttering a lot and I'm getting a, off topic a lot, but anyway, let's just see what's in here. Anyway, for the Atari 2600, they're all 2600 games, I think, and for the 2600, I got Planet Patrol from Spectre Vision. I also got... Keystone Capers for, from Activision. And you know, anything that Activision makes is usually always a great game. And... And this is just like it's going to be a little hard to open. Alright, there we go. Anyway, and in here we got... Solaris for the Atari 2600. And what's in here? There's another game in here. And that is... Midnight Magic. So... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this very, very big, huge pickups video. Have a nice day, subscribe, rate, comment, and just do whatever all those other people beg for on YouTube. Anyway, have a nice day. Bye. Hey guys, it's Atari 2600 Fantasy again, and today I'm doing another pickups video. I might have a lot of cool stuff, not as much stuff as I got in my last pickups video, but I did get a decent amount of stuff, and there's some pretty cool stuff. And I'm going to try and do the non-related game stuff first. Anyway... The non-related gaming thing I got was Napoleon Dynamite on DVD. I got this at the pawn shop for $3. And the reason I got this is because I heard it was a really funny movie. And the, the TV series just came out. And it goes on, and it's on Fox on Sunday nights. Along with Family Guy, Simpsons, um, The Cleveland Show, The Ameri American Dad, and Family Guy. And it's a pretty funny show. So I decided to pick up the movie and see how it was. And the movie was pretty good. And at Game Exchange, I got... Family Guy, something, something, something dark side. Um, so I saw this and yeah, I thought it was pretty good. It's pretty funny, so picked it up. And off of that um, game exchange, I got Family Guy Blue, Blue Harvest. So as you can see, I got both. I got two of the Family Guy Star Wars DVDs. And this one actually had a little asteroids thing in it, like where they're going through an asteroid field, and they actually were like in the asteroid field and they're like, oh my god, it's an asteroid field. And they showed like the asteroid spaceship shooting asteroids, the asteroids from the game Asteroids. And that was pretty funny. And I felt like the um, back cover artwork on the disc. And in the side of it, we got two DVDs in here. 
So I got a two disc set. And today I got Rocky, the original Rocky on DVD. I love this movie. I have it on VHS, but I taped it off TV so the so the um, quality is kind of grainy. But the movie was great. I really love this movie. And it is a two disc set. Anyway, that's it for the non-related gaming stuff. For the gaming stuff, I got a ColecoVision game. I got Qbert for the ColecoVision. And it looks almost identical to the Atari 2600 version. Like at my game store, at Game Exchange, uh, they always put down their ColecoVision games as Atari games. So sometimes you can get pretty good deals on games there. Well, on ColecoVision games there, because usually when people sell ColecoVision games, they usually don't know what they have. And they, they'll usually think of an Atari game because they look identical. So, you can usually get a pretty rare ColecoVision game for a pretty cheap de down at that store. So if you're in, ever in the area, you should, you should check it out. Anyway, I did not do an unboxing video of this because I didn't feel like doing one. But, since I didn't do one, I have to push, show it in this video. And it is tax scan for the Atari 2600. I did not try this out yet, but I'm sure it's going to be great because it looks pretty cool on the cover. And it was made by Sega. So, and again, I did not do an unboxing for this. But it is an Atari 5200 game and it is Mario Brothers. And I got a really good deal on this. I think I paid like $10 for this game and I've been seeing it go for like 30 so I couldn't let this game slip away. Then again, did not try it, but then again, the Atari 5200 I cannot control very well. So I did not try it out yet, and I don't know when I'm going to get to try it out. But anyway, Mario is on the Atari 5200. Anyway, for the Sony PlayStation, I got a couple games there today. From, well, for the system today. And this is some pretty cool stuff. I got... Midway presents Arcade's Greatest Hits, the Atari Collection Number 1. Now this is really cool. It contains a few Atari Atari games that were in the arcade, and it includes Asteroids, Battle Zone, Centipede, Missile Command, Super Breakout, and Tempest. And this is what the disc looks like. Got the disc right there, the manual. And it's in the cover. And I'm sure it's going to be good. Again, I did not test any of this stuff out yet. And I also got Volume 2 right here. And this one includes Robotron 2084, Joust, Sin Sinistar, Defender, Defender 2, and Bubbles. So, it's always nice to find Atari collections anyway, really. Because they usually don't make a lot of Atari stuff. It, whether it's a collection, whether it's a little remake of an Atari console like the Flashback. You know, it's just really hard to find anything related to Atari today unless you know where to look. So it's pretty cool to find this stuff. Also, I got Aces of the Air for the PS1. This one looks pretty cool. It's a World War II game. And it looks like it's going to be really fun because I like World War II stuff. So I picked that up. And I also got Battle Stations for the PS1. And this is the inside of it. Right there, you got the manual right there. And again, this game looks like it's going to be pretty fun, too. Anyway, I forgot if I showed this in my last pickups video. I did an unboxing of it. I'm not sure if I made an unboxing video for it or not. And I forget if I showed it in my last pickups video. But if I didn't, I'm going to show it here. And it is Red Alarm for the Virtual Boy. Now, I did not test this game out yet because... Um, you know the Virtual Boy is always red and black and it gives you a headache after like 3 minutes of playing it. So I don't know when or if I'm going to be able to test this game out. But, anyway, Red Alarm on the Virtual Boy. Anyway, I also got, at the dump, I'm not sure if it works or not, but it should work. It is a Model 2 Sega Genesis and it came with a bunch of games. It came with mostly just sports games, but I got... FIFA 96 Soccer, um, the Pink Panther, um, World of Illusion starring Disney's Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, and this is Wayne Grisky, NBA Jam, 
LA Russia Baseball. 95. Star Trek. And some weird type of food game thing. But anyway, that concludes this pickups video. And with the Sega stuff, I um, did get a couple more games, but most of them were just duplicates, or I just didn't take them out of my Sega bin. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this pickups video. Do all that other stuff people beg for on YouTube, and have a nice day. Bye. Okay, just a correction. This game right here is not Volume 2. This is just Williams Arcade's Greatest Hit, and like I said before, has Robotron 2084, Joust, Sinistar, Defender, Defender 2, and Bubbles. I should have known that as soon as I saw Defender and Defender 2 in there. But anyway, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye. Well, so far it looks like this video will never end. And I got more pickups. Anyway, the first thing I'm going to show off is the stuff that's non-gaming related. The first thing I got is at Game Exchange and I got Rocky 2. And at Best Buy for $5, it was a pretty good deal. I got Titanic, the Definitive Documentary Collection. Now, a lot of this stuff in here was made in the 90s. And they're usually, and most of the DVDs in here are about an hour long. So about the average time of a average documentary. It comes with two discs. One of them is the main disc. And then the second disc, they got a bonus documentary called Titanic Survivors. But it turns out I actually already had that documentary on a separate disc. But $5 is a pretty good deal. Anyway, now that I'm done with that, let's move on to the gaming stuff. Anyway, first thing I got is at a new store, I got a, I got a, a new store that just opened near my house. I, they sell retro gaming stuff. It's like a thrift shop, but it's really huge. It's very big. I, even though they usually, only one of the corners is retro gaming stuff, and all the rest of them are like toys, music, DVDs, TVs and tools, stuff like that. They did have some pretty good games. And on the Nintendo 64, I got a Star Wars game. I got a Sega Genesis game, and it is Abrams Battle Tank, Super Nintendo, Pilot Wings, Atari 2600, Solar Storm, 17 Telegames, and Star Wars Jedi Arena. Anyway, at a, another store. Well, I'm at a, it's a without the same store, but. Well, it's at the same store. I don't know where I got another store from, but anyway. At the same store, I got a bunch of those Nintendo. Those Nint these things. I'm not sure what they're called. They're those Nintendo cases. The, the Nintendo. Dust covers, I think they're called. And there's a bunch of them in here. And just to give you an idea of how much are in here, um, let's see if you can see this. Um, so, yeah, there is a good amount in here. Anyway, at Retro Games Plus, now let me just um, tell you one thing about Retro Games Plus. Um, in, my last, in, my, in the first video, in this big pickups video, I talked about how they have a bunch of rare stuff, like I got the Virtual Boy down there. When I walked into it today, one of the first things I saw was, an, uh, was a boxed Atari Lynx. They also had a Atari Jaguar, and I think it had the CD add-on. And they also had, when I first walked in there, I thought this was just a regular Atari 2600, but when I got closer, I realized it was a heavy sixer, not the light sixer, the actual 1977 heavy sixer with the six sides. They wanted $75 for that. And they even had that with the box. And they had the Atari video pinball things there and the Atari 800XL computer. So, as you can tell, this is a great store and they got some really rare, rare things. And just talking about rare things, I actually got this with the manual at, down there. And it is the Atari 2600 game, Toot in Common. This is an R5 game, I think comes with the manual and the game, so this was in a, a great deal. I got it for, I think, $5. I could not pass this up. Also, down there for the Atari 2600, I got Kangaroo. I do not think I have this game. It's the game I've been wanting, so I decided to pick it up for $5. No, no, not $5, $4.
For the Atari 7800, I got Mrs. Pac-Man and Robotron 2084. And for the Atari 2600, again for six dollars. I think I might have overpaid for this, but I've never heard of it. Um, it's Flash Gordon. And an Intellivision game. Yes, I finally got this game on the Intellivision, and I love this game. It's boxed. The box is pretty beaten up, but. I don't care, it's a box and television game of one of the most popular in television games ever. And it is Burger Time, a boxed copy of Burger Time. Got this for five dollars, great deal. The game is in there and what it looks like a sealed manual. I don't know if the manual came originally sealed or if the store sealed that up. I'm pretty sure the store sealed it up, but whatever. I got a Burger Time box game complete. Anyway, if you remember, oh wait, I got one more thing down there. And for the Nintendo NES, I got Rambo. They had this boxed for ten dollars. I didn't want to get it boxed, but I got it um, for um, three ninety five regular without the box. If they want, if I got it with the box, it was nine dollars. So I just took the ticket with the um, out the box for cheaper. But anyway, um, you remember of. Uh, when I first started YouTube, not when I first started YouTube, about last year around this time, I started saying I hate the Xbox 360. I would rather sell my entire game collection than get an Xbox 360. Well, that's changed. I finally got an Xbox 360 for $80. It's the original one. It came with one controller. It works great. Um, I've been playing it a lot lately. And I got some games for it. I've been using it as a DVD player more for some reason. But anyway, let me just show off the games I got for it. Now, I don't have the system in here because the system is hooked up in my room. And I and the, um, yeah, it's hooked up in my room with all the controllers and cords. And I'm not going to unhook it just for the video. So I'm just going to show off what games I have for it. Anyway, I got Perfect, Zero, Perfect Dark Zero. This is the special edition. And as you can see, it comes with a really cool slip cover, and it comes in a metal box, and it comes with two discs, this thing, whatever this is, I'm not sure what this thing is, um, and it comes with a, the manual, right here, oh, no wait, this is the comic book it came with, it comes with a comic book. And then obviously there's a manual in there. So I got a pretty good deal on this game right here for the Xbox 360. So, Perfect Dark Zero. Or, wait, what's the name of it? Yeah, Perfect Dark Zero. It's a first person shooter type of game. Also, for the original Xbox, this is for the original Xbox. I found this game through a television dude. He got it for the PlayStation 2. And the game is... Red Dead Revolver. I got this on the Xbox. I'm pretty sure I can play it on the Xbox 360. And I really like Red Dead Redemption. I don't have Red Dead Rede Redemption with me right now. I'm letting my friend borrow it. But, yeah. I'm going to try this game out, see if it's good. I like the Red Dead Redemption, so um, I'm sure I'm going to like Red Dead Revolver. And it's made by Rockstar, the same company that made Red Dead Redemption and Grand Theft Auto. So, I'm sure it's going to be a good game. I like I like anything Rockstar makes, like L.A. New York, Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption, you name it. Anyway, also for the Xbox 360, got Assassin's Creed. This is the old Assassin's Creed right here. Didn't try it out yet. I didn't try any of this stuff out yet. I just got home, actually. And I also got, um, for the Xbox 360... If you know me, you probably shouldn't be surprised at what game this is, because if you know me, this is my favorite game series of all time, even though it's modern. It is Grand Theft Auto 4 on the Xbox 360. This is not the um, complete edition or episodes from Liberty City. This is just the regular one. It's not the platinum edition or anything. This is just the regular Grand Theft Auto 4 game on the Xbox 360. And that's it for this bag, and I think I got more stuff in here. Yeah. I also got Castlevania Symphony. Well, this is actually on the Xbox. It's called Ka Konami Classics Volume 1, and it comes with 
Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Frogger, and Super Contra. Super Contra is my favorite game out of the whole group of the games in here. I love that game. Frogger is great. I can't I can't really get past the loading screen for Castlevania Symphony of the Night. But Frogger and Super Contra seem to work great. It's not that I can't get past the loading screen. It just doesn't let me start the game for some reason. It just says no data found or anything. So I did again. I really wasn't trying when I did it. So I'll try that again later. And also in here, I got Over G Fighters. This game looks like it was, it's going to be pretty fun. It's an airplane war game. It's a war game where you're flying airplanes. So it's kind of like a Top Gun kind of game. It has that same style as Top Gun has. So I decided to pick it up and it's okay. I mean, like, I don't really like it. I mean, it's a little boring. It, the controls suck for it. So I don't really like this game too much. I also got a game that doesn't work, unfortunately. But it, it is... Well, just, I don't know if it doesn't work, it just doesn't let me start the game. It just stays at the Xbox dashboard. But it is Battlefield Bad Company 1. Yep, just that. Then, last but not least, I got... For the Xbox 360, I got the original Saints Row. Now, the reason, now, one of the entire reasons I wanted an Xbox 360 was for Saints Row. Because PlayStation 3 or the PC does not support... Saints Row 1, they only support Saints Row 1 and 3. And I have Saints Row 1 and 3 on the PS3, and it's a really fun game. I'm going to try and get Saints Row 2 and 3 on the Xbox 360 soon. But, un but until then, this is Guitar2600 fan signing out. Have a nice day, bye.